Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at does Windows Defender offer enough protection in Windows 10? Now, you see me do a video not so long ago about uh, ransomware and Kaspersky and how well Kaspersky dealt with that ransomware and stopped all of them from uh, penetrating the system and getting on there and encrypting all your data. This time, we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 Anniversary Edition and we're going to take a look and see whether Windows uh, Defender can block these. Now I get asked this question quite a lot, is Windows Defender any good? Uh, what's the security like? Uh, what uh, antivirus should I use? And all this sort of stuff. And it's very, very difficult to uh, give someone some information on that. So I thought I'd make a video. So first let's just test settings here. Just to make sure everything is up to date. And I have updated everything, so I just wanted to show you guys. So you can see here, we've got everything open here and put on. So I can just go to Open Windows Defender, and you can see we're all up to date. I have updated the definitions, it's just searching, and it says we're up to date. So we know we're fully updated here, and now what we're going to do is we're going to test it against these ransomware. So. So I'm going to open these up I'm going to drop them onto the system so we can extract these straight onto our desktop here and we'll see how many of these get blocked. So let's get started. It wants me to put my uh, password in and here they go. So these would be getting dropped onto the system. You can see malware has been found it's saying. So we'll just let it do its thing and let it try to delete these as they go. So it's starting to remove them, I can see. As they get dropped. And there we have that all done. So I'm not scanning or anything like that, I'm just letting letting a Windows Defender do its thing and I can see it's starting to delete these, these folders are looking empty no it's not, that's still got something in it let's take a look at Tesla Crypt, you can see these are all on the system and uh, these are still here, now that's not really good that should be deleting these instantly as soon as they get dropped because if these are managing to get onto the system then that means they're clickable and uh, when they're clickable they can start to install themselves so we'll take a look what happens here we're just leaving this to do its thing first it may take a bit more time to remove them but it should be a lot quicker than that in my opinion because there's nothing stopping me from clicking on this now it's on the system want it deleted straight away it's now starting to remove some stuff as you can see it's very slow as you can see here all these are still on the system got the red one here and the green one they're still here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these running and we'll come back in a second and see what happens and see how many it, it removes of these, if any. So I can see it trying to remove these, you can see here, found some malware, Defender is moving it. So I'll come back in a sec. So I've been leaving this for a while, and what we'll do is we'll take a look here at Windows Defender and we'll see what it says and you can see here it's telling us that we need to restart our system we shouldn't have to go in there really it should automatically just shut that down and restart really and say it needs to clean these off um, but I can see some of these are still in here that's gone that's gone just have a quick look at some of these folders now you can see it's now starting to uh, remove these from the system probably need to reboot just to uh, let it 
left that one last time, so I'm thinking that's a program. This one here. That's the new locky. Still there. And as you can see, pictures gone. They're both gone there. So what I'm going to do is quickly restart the system and then we'll try and infect it with what's left in here. So we'll reboot. Okay, we're back at the desktop here and uh, it's done a pretty good job. I can see uh, it's removed a lot of these now from the system, as you can see. There is this one here, which I'm gonna test right now. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got nothing plugged into the computer. And we'll try and click on this and see what happens. Let me just uh, change file extensions here. HTH. I'm just going to change this to .exe. And you can see that's a uh, block there. So what I'll do is I'll get a few more of these onto the desktop and then we'll see if we can uh, run them from the actual desktop. So I mean, I may need to disable uh, the Windows Defender first. So I'll do that now. So I can drop them on the system again. I'm just gonna quickly turn this off. Okay, so I've dropped all the ransomware back on the system, as you can see here. And I think Windows 10 and Windows Defender dealt with those ransomware pretty good there apart from it was a bit of a slow process in deleting them uh, the engine on that was pretty slow at picking those up and deleting them but it did a pretty good job at removing them uh, after a, a couple of minutes so what we're going to do here is uh, turn this back on and I'm going to try to run a couple of these to see if we can get something to inject itself onto the system so let me just do this now I'm going to turn this on and turn that on and then I'm going to click on this We'll see if it blocks it. And you can see I'm going through a few of these. We'll try a few Tesla crypts if you want. You can see it's blocking these as well. I'm going to try Lucky. server we'll try one of these you can see I'm just randomly clicking on some of these before they get deleted but as you can see it's blocked a lot of those from running the Zepto one here let me just try to do that one and as you can see it's blocked all those pretty strong very good protection and these are all ransomwares that have infected PCs pretty easily it's crypto locker there you go As you can see, pretty successful at defending against ransomware. So Windows 10 has got a big plus from me for blocking all those types of ransomware with Windows Defender. And uh, as you can see, pretty strong at deleting those. And even though it was a bit slow at deleting them, when I dropped them first on the system, it still managed to delete, delete and stop that process when I clicked on them. So 10 out of 10 for that. So you can see here, it's done a pretty good job there. Pretty impressed with that, really. So it just goes to show you how strong Windows 10 is and how much stronger it's got compared to its 
previous uh, versions of Windows. So I hope this has been informative. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any video requests or any problems with your computers, you can head over to the forums. And uh, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. There's also a little review section on there where you can write a little review just to say how much you enjoy my videos. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.